Now to the growing safety concerns over America's railways. For the fourth time in just over a month, a Norfolk Southern train has derailed. Some 30 cars went off the tracks. This one in Calhoun County, Alabama, yesterday. Now, officials say there was no risk to the public. This latest incident came just hours before the company CEO, his name is Alan Shaw, was grilled by a Senate committee about the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, last month. Roxana Sabiri has more on that part of the story. I want to begin today by expressing how deeply sorry I am. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw struck an apologetic tone Thursday morning. Will you commit to paying for long-term medical testing for people in the impacted communities? I'm committed to doing what's right. But when pressed on exactly what that would look like, he did not offer specifics. Will you commit to ensuring that these families, these innocent families, do not lose their life savings in their homes and small businesses? The right thing to do is to say, yes, we will. Senator, I'm committed to doing what's right for the community. This week, the NTSB began investigating the rail operator's culture of safety. We are committed to the legislative intent to make rail safer. Norfolk Southern runs a safe railroad. Another Norfolk area Southern where China laps us, by the way. shows the company's accident rate has risen each of the last four years. And CBS News has obtained a union complaint. No, they don't, Lamau. Wait, what do you mean? No, I'm talking about uh, uh, dealing with uh, executives. Don't make me play it again. If you think, if you think the Chinese government doesn't fucking uh, routinely routinely fucking um you know throw the whole kitchen sink at uh, uh corporate executives that uh, refuse to abide by certain standards that they've put together <sighs> you have not been paying attention complaint filed against norfolk southern last year alleging unsafe practices throughout ohio I think with transparency, you have trust, and unfortunately, we really haven't had that up until this point. Jessica Connard and Misty Allison traveled all the way from East Palestine to Washington, D.C. to attend the hearing. What did you think of the apology by Alan Shaw? It's great to have an apology, but uh, an apology has to have action behind it. They, like so many others in that town, fear for their family's health. It's really impacted my seven-year-old and even he said, Mommy, am I going to die from being here? And that just absolutely broke my heart. For CBS Mornings, I'm Roxana Saberi.